hello and very warm welcome to the channel in this video we are going to have a look at brand new apple's model dclm 7 billion base this model is not a pre-trained one or instruction tuned one it is a base model and i believe that this is one of the best created base model at the moment in 7 billion category after mistral and llama 3. the reason why i'm saying this is because the technique which has been used to train this and the data set which is at the core of this model is of very high quality. So if you're looking to pre-train or fine tune a model from scratch on your own custom data or you just want to train it from scratch on your own data, this model is one of the best contender at the moment. The good thing is that it is uh, released under a very permissible license and you can read more about it on the model card that Hugging Face. And I'm also going to put it in the video's description. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get it installed, what this model is about. Plus, I will also give you some pointers as how you can train it from your scratch on your own data. I will share with you two tools. Also, please also try to understand that I cannot show you the full training because it requires massive amount of data plus massive amount of resources and it takes a lot of time and hours. But I will do the second best thing. I will show you how to do it. It is not that hard if you uh, really have done it. The real catch here is two. There are two catches. First is that you need to have a very high quality data in proper format. If you have that, you have one half of the battle. Second half is to have multi GPU cluster where you can actually train it. Once you have the hardware and the data set, you're all good to go. It just takes few commands to get that training rolling and I will show you shortly. I will give you two tools. Okay, before I show you the installation of this model, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to put a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is the Ubuntu VM where I'm going to install this model and I have one GPU card of NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. First up, I'm going to create a Conda environment to keep everything separate from my local system. I'm just calling it DCLM with Python 3.11. Let's wait for it to install and then we will proceed further. That is done. First up, let's install PyTorch and make sure that you install it the latest version because that is what is required for this model. Let's wait for it to get installed. PyTorch is installed. Let me clear the screen. Next up, we need to install few of the packages from source. So you see I'm installing transformers from source. I'm installing this Apple's package OpenLM from source. Plus we are installing this Accelerate. And we are installing it from the source because it's a new model and only these li uh, new libraries from the source which haven't become part of pip yet support this model so let's wait for it to get installed okay all the prerequisites are done now let me fire up my jupyter notebook after installing it and this is going to start it up in the browser and then we will start with installing the model there so let's wait for it to launch Jupyter Notebook has launched and you can see that I already have imported some of the stuff like open LM and transformers and next up let's grab this Apple's DC LM baseline model both a tokenizer and a model and it has started downloading there are six shards of it hopefully it will fit on my GPU so let's wait for it to finish and one observation I would like to make it that normally when we go with 7 billion model from uh, metas llamas or even jamas or others they are around four shards this one seems like a bit bigger anyway so let's see how it goes all the shards are almost loaded let's wait for it to finish and then the next step would be to load it on my gpu and that is almost there and now all the shards are on my gpu okay next up let's Try to do the inference now remember this is a base model so don't expect for much coherent sentences there all we can do is the completion stuff so for example here i'm just using tokenizer to convert this text into tokens and then those tokens are being passed into some of the hyperparameter configuration as how many new tokens we want what would be the 
top probability temperature randomness of response and then repetition penalty all the usual standard values here and then i am sending these tokens to model to generate the output then we are using tokenizer to decode the model's output in back into text and then we are printing it out let's wait for it the model to generate the output and there you go you can see that the model has produced a response that it has done the completion of it that once upon a time is an original drama it's set in two places in two times period but it's not so not that coherent but still good enough to see that it can produce and it can do the regression sort of thing now the next task is to fine tune it or train it from scratch on your own data for that you can use two options you can go with this open lm library from apple's um, itself or it's an open source one and i will show you how you can use it shortly and we already have seen how to install it from the source another option is to do the megatron this is one of my favorite i normally use megatron um, and i already have covered it in my videos is how to do the step-by-step -step thing if you are interested just search with megatron so this is another way you can do the training or uh, or fine-tuning of the model so mainly it is for training the base models there are a few other tools too but these two are the ones which i find that will be better for these sort of models now let me show you the code which you can use in order to do the fine tuning with the help of that open lm which i just showed you so this is my vs code editor in order to start a training all you need to do is to run this command that's it for example you have four gpus on your cluster you just specify them or how many there are and then simply run this torch run command to start the training now if you go through these parameters just a very um, at a high level we are setting gradient checkpointing which is a technique to reduce memory usage during training by storing only a subset of intermediate gradients and recomputing the rest we are also using fstp which is fully sharded data parallelism that is a technique that splits model parameters and data across multiple gpus then we are using amp which is automatic mixed precision that is a technique that uses a combination of 16 bit and 32 bit floating point numbers to reduce memory usage and increase training speed then we are having bfloat16 which is a 16 bit floating point number format that uses 8 bits for the exponents then we have weight decay that is a regularization technique that adds a penalty term to the loss function and then various other things like scheduler batch size batch size is a number of training example used to compute a single gradient update and then we are specifying the epoch which is a complete pass through the entire training data set and then few other things which are um, not that important so all in all as you can see it is fairly simple to do the fine tuning and to do uh, to do the training now as i said earlier the real uh, problem comes the problem not problem the real issue comes when you need to make sure that you have ample resources plus a good data set as long as you have it training is not that hard so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching